Aboard the UW's research vessel Rachel Carson, a team of APL UW scientists and engineers is refining technologies to take the temperature of the very surface of the ocean. So this project is called IRIS. It stands for Infrared In Situ Skin and Subskin, and that describes the types of measurements we're trying to make. We're trying to make measurements of the what we call the ocean surface skin temperature using infrared radiometers. A frame and boom mounted to the forward deck of the Carson support the instruments taking the over-the-bow measurements. Those are important because the surface of the ocean is where our atmosphere and ocean interact. This is about the heat transfer from the air to the sea, how the ocean is taking up heat. This is an opportunity for us to put out a large variety of cameras with calibration equipment and be taking measurements physically in the water as well, this is going to be a chance to compare several different types of measurement methods. We have a couple of what we call our gold standards. They're um, radiometers that have been commercially manufactured for m making measurements of skin temperature from the ocean surface. All of these radiometers have to measure both the radiation from the water and then they have to measure the sky radiation because that radiation is reflected off the surface and um, into the sensor, so you have to correct for the sky effectively, the sky reflection. We're trying to create a new version of these sensors that will go on unmanned surface vehicles. Uh, and one of the one companies we're working with is called Sail Drone. They have an unmanned surface vehicle. Propulsion is by uh, wind with a sail, and then they have solar panels that operate all the instruments. Putting these sensors on a fleet of drones skimming the ocean surface could vastly increase the data return at relatively low cost. Data needed by climate scientists to quantify the heat fluxes between the atmosphere and ocean. Uh, water right at the very surface of the ocean or any body of water where the, it's, that's losing heat is a little bit cooler than the water just below and there's a boundary layer, thermal boundary layer about a millimeter thick over which under common low to moderate wind speed conditions, you can get as much of a half a degree temperature difference. We're combining an infrared radiometer with an infrared camera to measure the temperature at the top and the bottom of that boundary layer. There are models that are um, uh, developed to both predict the solar heating of the first few meters and also this bulk skin temperature difference. Ultimately, those are models that are used in uh, global climate change modeling to better predict the heat flux from the atmosphere to the ocean. Uh, we're showing, seeing the real-time output of the radiometers. The team faces several challenges to simplify and miniaturize the sensors for a sail drone deployment. The sail drone has low power and can't be very heavy, so we're trying to just package um, the infrared radiometer, something that is on the, now a package about 50 pounds and a foot in diameter and a couple feet long down into just the radiometer itself which is just about six inches long and three inches in diameter. This one-week test cruise aboard the Carson is just the first step in putting a simplified and miniaturized system in head-to-head -head tests with the gold standard instruments. The main cruise is coming up in October and that's a month-long cruise out in the open ocean and during that cruise there will be five of these sail drones uh, accompanying the ship and so we will have modified the instruments um, on three of those sail drones uh, to compare with the ones we have here. So we'll be side by side with the sail drones for some time. And then once we decide which of our approaches is the best, then we can refine that design and work to install it on the sail drone for uh, the second ocean going cruise, which would be in 2022.